Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Uh, my name is Devin Adams. I'm a Fortnite instructor here in Tempe, Arizona, and I've been building these um, uh, lab environments to test out some demos for the people who take my class. Uh, I'm going to try to record a few today, but uh, in the last video, uh, we did an LDAP bind and some wildcard admin groups. So the whole reason is to make some kind of uh, accountability when you have several people that are working on your FortiGates. So if you have a Forti manager, and you're not using it for anything else, you might as well join the FortiGates to it in what's known as a backup ADOM. And we did that a couple of videos ago, all right? And I did this in, in this environment because of the amount of demos I will be doing in the next couple of weeks. And yeah, it'll probably take a couple of weeks. Um, I'll try to do one or two a day. Um, but basically, I want an easy way to be able to roll back changes in case I mess up. So um, yeah, anyways. So my original goal was to show you how to roll back changes on the Forta Manager using a diff script. And uh, I don't know what it is, but the newer version of Forta Manager 623, I can't, I can't get it to work. So um, I'll actually show you that right now. So uh, I'm just gonna show you how to roll back changes in the Forta Manager not using a script <laughs> anyways um, because uh, uh, it's supposed to be in, in backup mode so but anyways I'm kind of getting ahead of myself but I got I got pretty frustrated testing all the different points of you know possibilities here and that's the only one that I can conclude because uh, I've been teaching 620 for a while and 620 it works just fine so um, anyways let, let me go ahead and, and show you guys what I what I mean to show here. So we had our admin groups that we made in the last video. So now uh, we hired Bob, right? And Bob is going to be an administrator to the FortiGates. And we don't need to make accounts now in two places. We can just use this Windows credentials, all right? And Bob can log in. And Bob is an admin now, OK? Pretty darn cool. So let's say that Bob's poking around in the firewall, all right? And I'm just going to make a pretty superficial change here just to show you. Um, but if we come down here to system and we go to our settings, and uh, you can pick the theme color. Oh, excuse me. So this was the second surprise I got today, guys. There's no red anymore. You used to be able to color it red. And I don't, Fortinet, if you're listening, why don't you just stick with some, like, I, I dig these other ones. Like, that is actually a lot cleaner than just having everything solid red. I mean, I, I get it, right? See how the blue's not really blue? Um, maybe it clashed with their logo. I, I don't know. I really wish they just gave us, like, the popsicle flavors. You know what I mean? Like, purple, orange, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um because that way, you know what I mean? Like, uh, we could paint our FortiGates different colors. Uh, but I was shocked that there's no that there's no red anymore. So it's now Neutrino, sure. So Bob makes a change. Oh, excuse me. Bob makes a change, right? And uh, he goes ahead and he, he logs out. So And then I come around and I'm just all like, what happened to our FortiGates GUI? What? You know. And let's say I didn't even know that that feature existed, right? Oops, uh, Devin, I keep forgetting my passwords, all right? So, and as you can see, the, the theme has changed. Um, but the goal here is to actually show you how it looks like on the Fortum Manager, because these changes could be happening across several devices. So in an earlier video, we did do that. Um, we did... Um, connect the Forta Manager into a, look, I was trying to script it out. It, it just wouldn't work for me. Um, we do have several people across the board doing things. So if I wanted to see who did that, uh, there's a real easy way to do it if the Forta Manager is collecting log files. You can also do this on the Forta Analyzer. But if you go to your uh, logs and you go to events, all types, all right, you can see Oh, actually, you know what? These are for, these are for my um, what you call it? Wait, no, there we go. Yep, Bob, 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 Bob. Okay, <laughs> you see, Bob, 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 Bob. So, and as you can see here, he did edit, he did edit some system settings. All right, and right there, I mean, how cool is that? He changed it from green to neutrino. All right, <laughs> so, uh. Dang you, Bob. So that's kind of what I meant by you could track it 
you know, what admins are doing and all that jazz. So, um, and that was just coming up here, going to security events, all types, right? And when someone does make a change to a configuration file, it does come over as an alerts because, you know, the changes were made, right? Um, so anyway, so here we go. Um, how do we actually roll back those changes from a Florida manager? And if you notice here, we are in the backup ADOM that we created, and that is a read-only ADOM. So um, we come over here to our device manager, okay? And we should see all of our managed devices here. I'm trying to, to show you what it looked like when we first click on it. All right, if we double click that, you do get a view of the dashboard and uh, see kind of what's going on with with uh, the FortiGates, even though it's read only. And as you can see here, this is all the different stuff that's happening. Now, that's one thing that surprised me was that uh, it now does a auto update. So before it was just when an admin logged out, it pushed changes to the Forti Manager. And now it looks like it's doing um, changes as, as it goes by. So for example here, uh, if we look at the time difference, okay, I can go ahead and I can I can say, show me the difference between the previous version, and I hit apply, and it will show me the two revisions side to side. And then if I say show only diffs, I mean there it is right there, with the theme changed, without the theme changed. All right. So now normally. Normally, what I wanted to show you guys is that you can come here and you can capture the diff to a script. And uh, from there, you hit apply and a pop-up box comes and downloads you a text file. And uh, you know what? It just did not, it did not work. So as you can see, it just didn't work. So um, now, you know, I mean, we could, uh, we could right click it and, um, you know, download the revision, regular download, sure. Let's see what that comes over as. All right, we hit okay. And if I pop this bad boy up, all right, choose. Whoa, I just realized I'm using tiny Linux here. Here we go, let's just go to, uh, uh, let's see here, leaf pad or something. All right, so here it is. I mean, it is a running configuration file. So technically speaking, if you still wanted to use it as a script, I mean, you can copy the block of text here, hit copy, all right? And then you can come up here to scripts, and then I was playing around with this, I'll just do it over again. I'll say create a new script, and I'll just say Bob, or not Bob, uh, change theme. And I'll say, Bob, don't change the theme. Going back to green, right? And then normally we could just paste it in there. I don't know why it's not letting me paste it in there. Um, do I still have it open? No, I don't. Jeez. Sorry, guys. I should, really, I should really record these ahead of time. Here we go. Um, here we are. Edit. Copy. Control V. Edit paste. There we go. And then I'm just going to go back to green. All right. In fact, I can say change theme green and it saves that script. And what's nice about this too is that if you have scripts for like, you know, troubleshooting or management or just collecting information, uh, you can go ahead and you can run it. All right. Um, so I'm going to say run the script. Okay. On the FortiGate. And we can run it on several ones too. It makes like changing DNS and everything really easily. Oh. That's new too. Available entries, run now. Okay. Seriously? <laughs> okay, sure. 
All right, so, and this actually shoots it down via the command line. So, and that's what we mean by they're not being essentially managed by the Forda manager. So it's not using the Forda manager way, it's just running the script directly on the device itself. So, um, and then once that gets done, you know, we should be able to, to revert those changes. So now, like I said, normally though, it, it just does save the difference in the text file for you. But as you can see, you can download any config and just parse out the different pieces of information that you need, so on and so forth. And then if I hit F5 here, it should be, it should be green. So, ta-da, right? So there you guys go. Um, now there is a way to, to revert the changes even still from the Forda Manager. And that is by just manually, manually saying install this down on the device itself. So, uh, so let's go over to our um, groups and devices. All right. It saved the last place that I was. And as you can see here, the second that it dropped the script down, it still pulled that up. All right. So that's actually kind of, kind of neat. Okay, so let's go ahead and, and take a look. So we're going to view the difference, all right? And I want to see the differences only. Come on, baby, you can do it. <laughs> Maybe I should download a real, a real uh, management PC here instead of just using the the uh the web turn box if I'm gonna do any more. I think it locked up the browser. What? Anyways, I was just gonna show you guys that it does um it does show you that the script manager changed it. So let me let me just log in real quick to the Florida manager and try that again. And I've never had a problem with downloading the the config files the diff files until this newest version. So I'm assuming that it has to do with the newest, latest, greatest, I'll keep troubleshooting it on my own. Uh, but this is obviously not a Forda Manager demo. I'm just, I was just trying to show you why I added it to a, to an ADOM here. So, cause I wanted to track my changes as I start doing more and more to my, my infrastructure. Um, sure. Let's try that again, unless it's gonna lock up on me. So, and if it does it twice, then I know I'm gonna have to just use another web browser. Yeah, it's acting wonky. I don't think the little free VM can, can handle it, even though it's kind of weird because it was just working a few minutes ago. So let me use my domain controller. Now I purposely put on a couple of different web browsers when I was troubleshooting this. I know you usually don't do that in a domain controller, but guys, honestly, um, I didn't want to install another PC in my my GNS3. So here we go. Let's try it from here. All right. So there was the script manager. I'm going to click it. I'm going to view the difference. All right. Now, if this locks up, seriously, guys, I'd probably call the tag because one, capture to diff isn't working. And two, this seems to be freezing up. I would probably let them know that there is something fishy going on. I mean, this is using Chrome on a completely different box. So it looks like it has nothing to do with my, my poor little web term box here. So I might just let dogs lie or whatever they say it. But I know for a fact that that script changed the theme back. Uh, what a horrible video guys. I'm sorry. Like I said, I've done this tons of times in older classes and never had a problem. So, um, but as you can see here, this is before the script manager dropped it down and retrieved it. You can right click and hit install. And when you do that, it will reach out to the, the FortiGates and run the running configuration step by step. So um, that is another way to revert the changes. So if you didn't want to do it through a script, you should still be able to do it through um, uh, installing a previous version. So. And as you can see, it will go down there and it does a little checksum. All right. And it looks like it happened okay. So now if I go to my headquarters and hit a five, 
it reverted back. So once again, guys, normally, and I'm just going to have to do some more investigation, you can capture the difference to a script, run that script with just the changes that you apply. Or on the Forda Manager, even in backup mode, so if you're not using your Forda Manager to manage, at least let it be a repository of changes, okay? Like a log repository, config repository. And then I went ahead and I, I just said, hey, install this later version. And on the Forda Manager, nothing gets overridden. Everything is just a new entry. So what I mean by that is, if we come back to the Forda Manager and we, we hit our little refresh here, um, it should have a new revision in there. So, all right, see, right there. Uh, it doesn't just make it like it didn't happen. So, um, anyways, other than that, I, I would still call the tag. I don't know what's going on with the newest and the latest and the greatest. But, all right, guys, that was kind of a disaster. But uh, as you can see, though, uh, we saw who was messing with our changes, okay? And we also saw uh, how to roll back changes on the Forda Manager, even in a backup ADOM. So, you know what? As a bonus, I want to try something out here. Uh, there is a sock view, and that's what they renamed the Forda view, all right? And there was a monitor, I thought, for for uh, admin logins. Maybe I'll have to take a look at that later. So I was going to see if I couldn't see my, uh, there we go. See the, see the system events, but you see also the admin logins. So you can say who has been logged in for how long, right? How many configuration changes there are. You have to have a Forte Analyzer or a Forte Manager working as a Forte Analyzer though to really see this. I forgot about this until the last moment. And then you can change which devices and also how long do you want to go back. This is a great way, by the way, guys, to kind of see exactly what your admins are doing to your Forte gates. Because that's another reason why you'd have it in backup only mode is that if the Forte Manager was just overseeing other people manage directly their Forte gates. So, um, kind of crazy, huh? So, and as you can see, I was fat fingering my password. <laughs> right and then uh the failed login attempts all right as you can see here that was me fat fingering it so don't forget about that Forta view if you're running Forta analyzer or Forta manager as Forta analyzer so look at that you even have a cpu utilization so i'm gonna have to do some some demos more with the Forta analyzer Forta manager so all right guys i know once again that was kind of a disaster okay I have no idea why why this latest version is acting kind of wonky, but I would. I would probably call up the tech and just be like, hey, this worked before. It doesn't work now. What's going on? So, all right, guys. In the next video, um, I think we've kind of ran out of stuff to do. So I guess we're going to start installing a couple of different branch offices. So, and maybe I'll get to it today. Maybe I won't, but I'll uh, see you guys on the beach, and hopefully I can start doing some more demos. So take care.